What is up guys, welcome back to another brand new video and yesterday there was another big news drop that was Joe Manganiello was asked about that Ben Affleck Batman film we were supposed to get. Uh, for those that don't know, originally Ben Affleck was supposed to star and direct a solo Batman film called The Batman. Then things changed, Warner Bros didn't want to go through that route, they brought in Matt Reeves, Matt Reeves and Ben Affleck couldn't crack the case and now, you know, Ben Affleck decided to step away and then Matt Reeves, you know, decided to cast Robert Pattinson and now we got a different Batman. So we never get that Ben Affleck movie. Uh, and, you know, Joe Manganiello finally talked about what the movie was supposed to be. So what we did know before that before he said this is the fact that this was going to be a movie that took place in Arkham Asylum. This, gonna, this was going to be a film with, where Deathstroke was the main villain. And this was going to be a film about Ben Affleck where he stars and directs a solo Batman film. And, you know, I was so hyped up. I remember hearing about this. I'm like... Ben Affleck, first of all, he's a great director already. A great director. A proven great director. And not only that, but he's my favorite Batman of all time. So hearing this, I was like, you know, I'm so hyped up to see. I, and lots of people, when they were reading the script, they were like, this was the possibly the best Batman story of all time. And Joe Manganiello, he, he's a great actor in the fact that they brought him as Deathstroke. Deathstroke, one of my favorite villains. You know, I, I, I was so hyped up. Of course, they canceled it. I was disappointed. Uh, they slowly did it, though. It took, like, I think two years for them to finally say Ben Affleck is gone. He's not going to be in these films. Uh, and, he, fi you know, Joe Manganiello finally came out and said some things. And he basically just came out and said that this film was going to be about how Deathstroke is ruining Bruce's life in, from the inside. Personally, he was killing people close to him. And basically, he wanted revenge from something that happened. To me, uh, this was going to be a good, solid revenge story. I feel like it would have been an emotional story about not just Batman, but Bruce Wayne himself. And, you know, I feel like we we're going to see a ton of Batman's row gallery because, remember, a Batman is a... Is this Batman from Ben Affleck, this is an older, you know, much grittier Batman who has already faced off multiple villains. So I feel like we would have seen like some villains in Arkham Asylum, like maybe the Penguin, the Riddler, Joker, etc, etc, etc. And Deathstroke was going to be, you know, kind of, you know, the one that tries to destroy Bruce mentally. My question is, what, what, since... My question with this is, uh, do you think he would actually be able to take on Deathstroke after already having the experience of fighting Superman? Uh, that's what I always thought when the solo Batman film was reported. I was like, I mean, he's fought Superman. Do you really think anyone wants to fight him at this point? And not only did he fight Superman, but he completely beat the crap out of Superman. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people I saw that they were complaining about how Deathstroke really isn't a Batman villain, uh, how he's more of a Teen Titans villain. To me, uh, I don't really care care because Deathstroke in the comics has fought Batman on multiple occasions and to me I think that's already considered part of Batman's rogue gallery and either way I love Deathstroke as a villain uh, I do think he's the one who challenges his Batman more when it comes to combat and this Batman was all about combat it's like every villain kind of you know changes everything you know uh joker destroyed his like mental mentality riddler ch challenges his intellect and you know ev everything like every villain has like the specific different kind of role while deathstroke was specifically more combat so i really would have wanted to see that because really the only combat a villain we've gone in ever since the christian bell trilogy was probably bane and Bane was wasn't more just hand hand combat. It was more Bane is physically much more imposing than Batman, and you know, uh, not saying that you had to be a physical combat. I mean, I've said this before. Joker's my favorite Batman villain, and actually, I'm gonna change that. Joker's my favorite villain overall of all time. So to be to be honest, to me, I I, I liked it either way. Uh, this sound this sounded very interesting. Uh, I would have wanted to see this film. Sadly, we didn't get it. But either way, I am happy that Matt Reeves is getting his vision with the Robert Pattinson film. I think Robert Pattinson is going to be a great Batman. I saw the trailer. I think it's great. It does disappoint me. We'll never see Ben Affleck's Batman because, like I said, he was my favorite Batman of all time. Um, hopefully, I do wish luck to Robert Pattinson as I do think that he will be the best Batman. Uh, like I, after seeing that trailer, he just gave me like this vibe that I was going to really love that Batman. But I don't know if he'll be in Ben Affleck's level because to me, Ben Affleck's the greatest Batman that's there 
there's ever been and that's just by one movie <laughs> one movie solidified that imagine if they had gone with the original suicide squad and the original snyder cut and then we were gonna get you know this batman film there have been reports that that he's gonna get an hbo max series that's based off his script to me i don't think that's gonna happen i just don't see it if they do i'll be happy uh but i just don't see that happening if i'm gonna be honest uh i don't really want it as a series but if they do i'm gonna watch it and i'm more than likely gonna enjoy it uh you know i am glad that ben affleck we live in a world where if you told me back in i would say june or somewhere around that time june that ben affleck was going to come back i'd slap you in the face can call you stupid now he's there's snyder cuts coming out and he's his original bat ben affleck batman was going to be there or is going to be there i apologize uh, and he's he's coming back for flashpoint for a role that's not just five minutes it's gonna be a little longer i remember they said something like that and number three we we, we might get an hbo max series i don't think that's gonna happen but there's a chance but either way just getting the snyder cut and just getting him back in flashpoint just makes me so happy uh i i do think that was probably one of the most happiest moments during this pandemic because l let's not lie during this pandemic we've gotten so many big news i mean alfred molina and jimmy fox both coming back for a live action spideyverse ben affleck coming back for two films uh <laughs> uh seeing the snyder cut come back you know pattinson's batman trailer you know so many good news that came out during during this pandemic what is sad is that we've yet to see a comic book film come out during this time period we will be getting it on christmas and i cannot wait to see that on christmas so basically i'm going to end off the video by saying if you want to see that wonder woman 84 review then you gotta please hit the subscribe button uh hit put on the notification bells because i do re movie reviews for everything and on christmas i'm dropping not one not two but three reviews one of them being shark one lava girl 2 the other being pixar soul and the other one of course being wonder woman 84 and i'll be dropping them all on that christmas day so please hit that subscribe button just hit the notification bell smash that like button comment down below your thoughts on what what are your thoughts on this whole ben affleck batman story that was gonna happen do you think it would be great do you think it's, it looks terrible me personally i enjoyed it and i think that's the only thing that matters to me thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and until next time peace